What's going on guys my name is nuke man 2026 and welcome back to another black ops 3 zombies video i'm gonna try to keep this one short so if you guys do enjoy today's video please don't forget to drop that like and subscribe if you're new for more black ops 3 zombies videos without further ado guys let's get into it so obviously if you clicked on this video you are here because you want to know how to get better at zombies how to get to high rounds on shadows of evil specifically so i'm going to be teaching you guys how to do that now essentially what you're going to want to need for this is juggernaut mule kick speed cold and quick revive mule kick is definitely very important for this you need mule kick in order to continue with this step now the second thing you have to do is you have to have the pack a punch open which means all rituals need to be completed around the map now the weapons you will need and this can take up to round 15 so if you're a decent zombies player that's great you need to be able to survive on your own to at least round 15 maybe round 18 but from there on you can get to high rounds doing my method trust me it's an awesome awesome method so basically what you need like I said is mule kick juggernaut speed cola and quick revive so those are the perks you need now the weapons you will need for this high round strategy is going to be the apothecan servant which is if you do not know that's the wonder weapon in shadows of evil the haymaker 12 pack a punch and finally you need a wall weapon such as the bootlegger or the ARK7 pack a punch with a fireworks camo now guys the reason why I say you need a wall weapon is simply because you can just run up to the weapon and get ammo if you run out during high rounds because trust me if you use this a random mystery box weapon let's say such as the dingo it, you're gonna run out mid round if you're on you know those high rounds like 45 you're gonna definitely run out of ammo even if you pack a punch it you're still gonna run out of ammo so you need a weapon that you can just constantly run to when you run out of ammo ammo and just get that ammo back because I mean seriously you trust me is this really useful to just go get that ammo back so uh, yeah but guys you also need to aim for the head if you use the bootlegger or the ARK 7 you need to aim for the head I do I do not suggest getting the CUDA for this because that is not a good weapon but the ARK 7 and the bootlegger uh, are really really good at headshots I always use the ARK 7 on the giant and in shadows of evil I usually use the bootlegger and if you don't know where the bootlegger is on the wall it is actually uh, on the train so if you know where the train is you can just go on the train get the ammo you know etc now I beg you and I plead this to you and I'm gonna preach it to you once and only once guys do not ever use the haymaker except for Margo rounds now the reason why I say get the haymaker is because this thing is an absolute Margua destroyer literally I think it's so much better than the ray gun even it's just absolutely insane literally all you have to do is lift the gun up to the Margo's head and as long as its mouth opened just just shoot and you're gonna get its head popped off easily within a second it'll literally take probably like a minute to kill the margua with the haymaker but i must plead this to you never use the haymaker at all except for margua rounds that's the only time you should use it because otherwise you're just wasting the ammo and that's like basically ha like having the haymaker pack a punch is like having a second wonder weapon like a margua like a margua specific wonder weapon it's just absolutely crazy how fast the haymaker kills those things it's awesome now of course if you do not know usually every person that gets the high rounds always they always acquire the apothecan servant now if you don't know what that is it's a uh, it's a wonder weapon within shadows of evil it shoots a black hole and all the zombies get sucked into it if you don't know how to build it i do have a tutorial in my channel you can go search for that but you need the apothecan servant in order to get to high rounds literally if the apothecan servant wasn't existent people wouldn't even be able to get to round like 30 i swear like it's just it, the apothecan servant is very very useful for this situation so yeah, and then like I said, finally you need like the ARK-7 or the bootlegger pack a punch with a fireworks camo guys Because surprisingly at first I thought the fireworks camo did nothing But actually what it does is it shoots all the zombies around you when you see that burst of fireworks come out of the ground It's actually shooting all the zombies around you So if you have a giant horde and your fireworks thing just goes off it kills almost pretty much that whole horde and uh, also I advise using the traps and maybe the silver protector if you want but you don't have to now you also want to be camping down in the rift that's where I was and I, I made it to round 45 so I mean that's pretty high of a round to me I'm gonna try it here pretty soon and I'm gonna see if I can get to another high round but guys this strategy is just absolutely amazing so I suggest trying this if you kind of got confused I know I went a little fast I tried to make this short and sweet just rewind the video and you know just trust me it, this is a great strategy so I hope you guys did enjoy and if you did a like would be very much appreciated and be sure to subscribe if you guys are new and I'll see you guys in the next one hope this works for you my name is nukeman2026 and I'm out guys peace